Hello ladies, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, so today I'm going to show you how to make these swirled rosettes. Um, they're simple. You can add a little bling in the center. I added some pearls, or you can leave them plain like I did on this one. Now, what you're going to need for this is not extra glue. <laughs> you're going to need a hot glue gun, a pair of scissors, good for details, two circles, a way an inch circle and a two and a half inch circle. Um, some pearls, we'll see if we can use these or not, and some ink. And this is a vintage photo from uh, Distress Ink from Tim Holtz. The Tim Holtz stand and a piece of foam. Um, the foam is way better than the felt. The felt is a little, um, it dries out very quickly. The foam retains the ink, so you can use it a while longer. I've been using that same piece of foam for at least at least a month. So the first thing you're going to do is take your big circle, and you're going to scallop the edges by hand. And this gives it a very pretty flower look. And this is actually the center of our flower. So what we're going to do is we're going to ink both sides. Just real quick. You don't need it really inked. And then we're going to do the same thing to our tiny circle, our one inch circle. And this one inch circle is our base. We're just making it so it doesn't look so funny behind the flower. Because otherwise, if you just have a plain circle, it tends to look a little odd. So, we're just going to take the same ink and rub around the edges. And we have our circles ready. Now, you can make your flowers as thick as this or as thin as this. Now, it just depends on how wide you make your spiral as you go to the center. So, you're going to start on one of the edges and you're just going to work your way all the way into the center. And I'm still doing that little hand cut scallop and I just want it to look like a real flower so that's why I'm doing that. You can do it to where it's a straight circle all the way through um, no scallop and that looks pretty too but I like this look a little bit more. Now try to keep them even as you go through to the center. If you don't, it's no big deal. Flowers are not perfect. Um, just keep in mind again, if you want it thick like this, that's good for a good 3D project, um, an altered birdhouse or something along that line. Skinnier like this is better for your layout so you don't have your pages too thick. So we're going to take it and we're going to go from the big side to the center and we're just going to twirl it all the way into the center. And you're just going to start folding it because folding it's a little bit easier to get your center. From there you can start twirling it. And you want to keep the bottom as flat as possible. The top's not a big deal, but the bottom is. And the bottom is this portion here on the inside of your spiral because that's what's going to be glued down into the center. And I do make these pretty tight when I twirl them because I want them to keep their shape. Um, but you will see that when you're done, you can just let it go and it will loosen up. And you can even take your scissors or a toothpick or something like that and make the circle a little bit wider in the center. And this is what we did for our class um, week before last here at my house. Um, the class went really well. We learned quite a few different flowers. This, I think, is among the favorites. Now, you can let it go and you can unravel it just a little bit. You don't want it to unravel too much because you still need it to have its shape enough to put onto the circle, the little base circle. So we're going to make the center a little more open so we can add a pearl. There we go. So you see the base, our, the base of our flower, and we're going to put hot glue gun on that. 
Get some more glue. Okay, and then we're going to take our flour and make sure it's set the right way. Put it down on our base. Make sure we get most of it glued down on the base because that's going to hold our flour and keep our shape. And take the extra off. And that's almost done. Now we're going to take those pearls again. See if I can find them. Now these pearls, um, we got over six years ago. These are from our wedding. This is what was left extra. Yesterday we celebrated our six years together. My mom got these by the roll. I'm sure you can find them in smaller strands. Um, but she got them by the spools. And I mean, they're huge. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and put it in the center. And I'm going to put the pearl right on top. And this just adds a little bit of bling. Of course, you can be a little more careful with your glue, unlike me. And then you can take your ink. And we're just going to dab it a little bit more. We're going to dab it on the top of our flower, and that's just giving it a little more dimension. So there's our flower all done. Here's our others, and they're ready to go on your next project. Super simple, really fun, really, really, really cool. So hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching.